guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. So we got a lot going on here on JP Dokkan, kind of like a uh, a pretty big update. Um, there's some bug fixes. There's just generally a lot of stuff that's going on. Um, so, we, so we have a lot to cover real quick. I want to use this video to kind of go over a lot of the stuff. Um, and then I'll probably do another video, I guess, talking about the, the, the link skill orbs. Is there... Where is that we do that? It's right here? Yeah, it's right here. This is where we do the link skill orbs. I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay. I probably should have done this in, in a different video, but okay. So so this is... We're able to use these like kind of like skill orbs um, for the different levels, right? So it's like the, the blue is for links. You know, you could see it right there up, up to five. The purple is for links up to eight. And then this uh, big daddy one that gets you up to uh, level nine and level ten. So, okay, sure, 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 sure. So we got that. So we're able to see which characters we're actually able to use this on. We could use this on a character who isn't Link level 10, huh? Yeah, and this, of course, is the first one we get to. Uh, so these are the Links down here. I see, I see. Ah, uh, this is a good system. This is going to be really good because I, as, like, a, a free-to-play player or something like that, let's say you're someone that doesn't like to grind up Links, you can get these orbs and you can hold on to them and like a big bad boss's character, just big bad boss level 10, bam. Right? Like, boom. Pretty good, pretty good. I guess, I mean, I will probably just save these, I guess, for showcase characters. I mean, this in combination with like the link level keys, I mean, yeah, that's it's very good. Okay, cool. So we have that. Um, again, there's just a lot of other things here. We, we have a lot of different, uh, we got quest mode. Do we have that Link Skill Orb event? No. Th there's like an event, I think, where we could get the Link Skill Orbs is going to be coming. We'll, we'll take a look at it in, in two seconds. Let let's hear. Let's flip over. I'm going to get to Link leveling the Broly and Trunks. Um, for the rest of the video, let's just go ahead and go over a lot of this stuff right here. Um, and see uh, what it is that we have to take a look at. So, okay. So, here is the data download. So we do have an app update, uh, which is good. That brings the link skill orbs and, you know, the, the Broly and Trunks movie, all that different type of stuff. Uh, we have the sub EZAs, uh, SBR, LR EZA. Yeah, damn, there's a lot. If we pull up this, there's quite a few things in here, right? We're starting from the Broly and Trunks. So we have them, the Super Battle Road EZA, Jiren EZA, and then sub EZAs. So, uh, dude, look. This, what is up with this October celebration? This, everything from there is new characters. It's insane. There's so much here for no reason at all. Okay. Uh, yeah, here's the new growth event. This is where I believe we get some Link skill orbs. Uh, there's Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road Sage, Ajiran EZA, Patan, Quest Mode Sages. Um, so we have them, Sub EZAs, that LR. Here, of course, is the new stages. Remember that there's the really goofy movie for Stage 8, the... You know, Broly and Raditz and Nappa and Paragus and Trunks, that goofy-ass movie in there. Yeah, this right here. Dude, this is so funny. I don't, you gotta love Dokkan. Getting something like this in here. It looks pretty good, too. Right? Like, this, this doesn't look, like, really bad or terrible or anything like that. You know, we'll take that. Okay, cool. So, here's the new growth event. This is, this is on the 16th? Okay, I wonder why it starts on the 16th. I'm not really too sure. Uh, the Extreme Super Battle Road stage is in... Oh, a little bit. Okay, 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 okay. Perfect. Uh, there's a Jiren. Okay, Jiren, Jiren, Jiren. Patan, skill orbs, skill orbs. Here's the new Link skill balls. Perfect. And then here's some assets just from the quest mode fights. Okay, cool. So we have that. Um, here is, uh, a campaign for the actual, uh, sh like, uh, quest mode here. Uh, there are EX skill orbs we could grind up for the Broly and the Trunks, um, from the new stages, right? They have some really strong stuff in there. All right, so we have all that. Cool. Um, yeah, again, jumping over to here, here's the, the EX skill orbs we're able to get. Just, like, insanity, right? Like, this, to me, seems really good. 500 defense and 500 attack. Let me actually take a look. Oh, okay. So you get 80% attack and start a turn. Additional to the medium chance to super. Medium chance to crit. 30% attack and defense on super. If HP is 50% or above when they super, uh, they get an additional. 
with medium chance to super. So, attack, attack, attack. So, they could attack four times. If HP is below 50% when doing the super, we get an extra 20% chance to crit. Trash. Every time you activate a super, you get 31% attack and defense. And damage reduction during that turn. Oh, hmm, dude. It's every time they super, though. Hmm. If it was every... Dude, if it was every time they attacked for a free-to-play character, they'd be nuts, right? Because maybe th this would be an example. Oftentimes, you guys know I'm a big, you know, oh, dodge, dodge. This would be great. Like, if it, if all they do is attack, then I'd say, you know, pound these boys 25 additional, right? Bam. And then as long as you just get the hidden potential system additional, you know, you'll get the damage reduction, and then that would synergize incredibly well with these massive defensive and attack equips you could get, right? Like, you could get a defense and attack equip for all three levels. Just essentially, just from equips, you could get, like, easy A-level stats, like, just from these equ equips, basically. It'd just be absolutely nuts, right? Is there... So we could do a defense and a dodge... We can do defense and additional. Oh, man. Yeah, the defense and additional. That 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 would work very well with, you know, giving them the extra defense to help them out with, with you know, to make the damage reduction a little bit more effective, but then potentially get additional to also be able to super attack. Remember, they, this is their TUR. They could be an interest. They, I think they're going to be an interesting LR. They get 30% attack and defense from their super attack effect. Oh, they're doing immense too. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean they're they're intriguing because again, they're still we're still gonna get their LR. Okay. So we looked at that. Uh this part we looked at, we looked at the EX skill orbs. Uh a bunch of items were added to the green and blue incredible gem shops. Um, including oh, it looks like actually. I think the link, so I'm like I'm link leveling right now. I just got a link up, and it looks like it, they changed it slightly. I mean, it's not a big deal, but uh, okay. So we're able to get, you know, again a, a bunch of new stuff. These medals, you need to get 318 for them, but it's very easy because they, you know, they give you the 318 needed to awaken them at a cost of one incredible gem per medal. So you need 318 incredible gems to awaken them, which is not tough, obviously, right? Like that's not bad. That's only a couple of runs and like 31 4 and stuff like that. And then there's a bunch of other resources Elder Kai, Zenny, all that type of stuff. Um, so here's the Link Skill Ball campaign. Um, oh, here's the new event. This is going to be. Oh, it's forever. Once a week, forever. Wow. That's. Dude, at, for, for like a YouTuber like me, this is so good. Because this means ev like I can constantly be hoarding these for the new releases. To make it much easier to get the showcases out. That's very helpful. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. Alright. Well, again, I'm going to do a separate video. We're going to go over a lot of the Link Skill Orb stuff. Right? For, for, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um. Oh my god. Yeah, here we go. So, if you guys remember, um, when you revived, occasionally there would be like a glitch or a bug. Where the boss special attacks could carry over to the next turn. So bosses that cannot double super attack would double super attack and shit like that. They're fixing that. It's not going to be a problem anymore. Yeah, revive characters are so clutch in like these really tough like red zone type fights. So people have noticed, right? Especially against like Fusion Zamasu or like dude Omega in the Omega event. You could revive and then Omega could do that AoE six times, dude. I've had it happen. Like it's... It's brutal. So now this isn't going to happen anymore. Oh my god. This this is a huge buff to revive characters, man. Because sometimes, you know, y you had to be very cautious about that. Like, like being aware. Like, okay, the, you know, even though this boss can't double super, they could potentially double super here, right? You, if you guys have watched my, uh, like, the, the showcases I do in the events, you'll have heard me talking about this a lot. Um, So this is, this is good. This helps us a lot. This, this, I mean, because... Some of these bosses, like Fusion Zamasu, his super attack plus his damage, like his, you you can't take two from him, like like I, with like any team, like could you? Because <laughs> it's like you, you know you're not gonna be against fusion like physical Fusion Zamasu turn one where you have like AGL LR Golden Freeze with his full damage reduction or Tech Merge Zamasu with his full damage reduction. 
Like, it's not going to happen. So it would have been very tough. Like, you would have needed to, like, dodge it or something like that. Uh, or, or I guess, LR Future Gohan. I mean, maybe you could get a theoretical turn where he would, you know, attack the second slot. Every attack is in, like, the second slot. And you have Future Gohan right there, and Future Gohan could double-digit tank both, I guess. I guess Future Gohan is one of the best characters for that fight, right? All right, so we have an update notice. This is, again, just about the Link skill balls. Again, we're, we're gonna I'm going to do a separate video in depth talking specifically about those. Uh, passive skill issues. This is the guard thing. Yeah. Um. So I, I don't know what the purpose of this is. I, I'm going to, uh, typically when they do this, a character upcoming is going to have this, but we'll see. <clears throat> so, um, they, they fixed this bug with that guard thing. I don't know if it's the biggest deal, but whatever. Um, problems for the, the gotcha scouter screen. Play button is not displayed sometimes for animations. Okay, whatever, sure. Um, and then, of course, there's new quest mode stages, which I already did a video on. We went through. Yep, there's the Trunks and Broly. Um, Hatchiak in there is kind of like a real opponent. Like, he's actually like a real fight. So, like, the, the, the new LR is actually like a boost character there. Well, TUR for now, but they will be an LR. Um, and then finally, there's that, and then more Link skill orb stuff. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Um, pretty fun update. Um, this is where it's like, oh, my God, like, Dokkan is going to live forever. Holy shit. Trunks and Broly and this these link skill balls. Oh my god, dude. This is gonna be so big. This is such because I, I totally get why a lot of people don't like link leveling. Because it's a heavy RNG system. Like it's not you like you you couldn't just decide, all right, let me just get this link done. Like it's not how it works. So, you know, for me, like Dokkan's my job, whatever, it's not a big deal. But like I like I totally get how a lot of people, you know, can't be asked grinding links for all these characters. This is good. I believe they are going to be available for purchase as well, but there's also going to be the events we could actually do, so that's good. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.